Step one, when the saints go marching in, famous tune made it immortalized by the, uh, the great hero, Louis Satchmo Armstrong. So again, it's a simple tune. There are lots and lots of different gospel versions of it. Again, we're just gonna do a very slow version of it. We're gonna work the toning into it as well. And then pre-recorded um, for Katie to play along with. She can then you can start playing along with a backing track and work your fingers up and start playing quicker and quicker and start bringing um, When the Saints Go Marching Into Life. So When the Saints Go Marching Into Life, start a quick listen to it, listen to Louis Satchmo or any great version of it uh, before we start playing it. Step two, one of the reasons we're doing this tune is, is uh, students really struggle with the BC switch because everything else is quite logical, but the BC switch isn't. So if you just do the BC, Time, just lift the left hand a little bit more back. back. Good. One more time on the tips. I still want a bit more on the tips. That's brilliant. Good. So your fingers aren't sort of suddenly your fingers are a little sort of taxi right away from the keys. Just get them almost touching the keys because though you're young and nimble now, you want to get your technique absolutely right. Brilliant. So BC is one of those weird ones where people just are not very good at BC. So that's why we're going to do this tune as well. Okay. So it's that step two. Step three. It's the first couple of phrases of when the saints. Now with this one, we're going to bring the staccato in. So we're going to say P and keep the notes really crisp. And again, we're going to cross the bridge left, right and center. What a surprise, okay? So we're going to go. And again, just do it really slowly to start. So the first two phrases, really slowly from the G. That's it, didn't I? Six fingers. Good, so get your fingers just all in place and yeah. your thumb in place. Go again from the GP again. Brilliant, okay, so that's step three. Well done, okay, just doing it slowly, getting it accurate um, and training the fingers to do what you want them to do. So that's step three of how to play when the Saints go marching in. Step four is to put the next part of um, the third phrase on. So you've got the... And then you're crossing the bridge back on the B this time from D to B, a different bridge crossing. Okay, so should quickly do from the six fingers on the, the, the D, six fingers with the thumb on the back, to the B, first finger, to the G, back to the B, back to the A. That's it, that's it, no thumb on, to the B, G. Let's just do that a little bit. Six fingers on, thumb on the back. That's the thumb. Good, back on the B. Finish it on the A. So again, we're making our fingers do different moves that they yeah. haven't done so far. And it's amazing how the thumbs and the fingers, you know, and it, and it will click, okay? So that's the next phrase of um, when the saints go marching in, okay? Okay, so the next part, that's where I'm going to do the tongue and go. Okay, so we're going to do the tongue in twice, going to go. Okay, just try that again. That's it, go. Okay, nearly, go on one time, one more time, to the final bridge crossing, you're brilliant, I'm just the last note, and again. Real good, be really active with your breathing, good. So that's the next step of how to play when the saints go marching in. Step six of when the saints go marching in, it's the very last phrase, B, C, D, crossing the bridge again, because I'm obsessed with this crossing the bridge, because I want this bridge to be really fluent, bridge crossing, B, C, D, B, G, A, and this time we finish it on the G. Thumb. Okay, so we've just got to know where that thumb is at all times. So that's forever in your career. Okay? Good. Okay, so that's the, all the phrases broken down of how to play when the saints go marching in. Okay, so now we're going to play a very slow version initially of When the Saints Go Marching In. So we're just going to play it really slow. We're going to put the tongue in as well. We're going to make it staccato. Ta, 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 and the legato at the end. So we're going to play with the tongue in. 
I've got a nice bright bus, but we're not going to hurry it, okay? So we're going to play really slowly, really accurately, okay? So I'll play it with you, very quietly with you, okay? So here we go. <laughs> crossings there as well, yeah. it's like, oh, B, or C, or B, or D, yeah. good, well done, okay? And again, just do it slowly, get it under your fingers, have some fun with it. Step seven, play it through, play it really slowly, play it really accurately, concentrate on where your thumb is, concentrate on the bridge crossings as well. So um, when the Saints just played on the sax, just very slowly at start, just to sort of say, just to um, get it under your fingers, okay? So then really enjoy playing, it's a great tune. Step eight, so what I've done with um, when the Saints go marching in, and so I've created uh, with, with my band a couple of backing tracks for certain stages. So you can start playing along with something. So it stops it being kind of a dry biscuit, just playing on your own solo sax. Though so, so, solo sax is a fantastic thing. It does work on its own. It's really nice to play along with something. The version we've done is really quick. So the idea is that whenever you're playing a tune and you, start, you feel like you're starting to get the hand speed, you just do it two times slow, one times quick. So you literally go. And then once you've done that twice, and then try and inject the speed into it but don't worry about attrition of, 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 um, of hand speed because it's one of those things you just keep doing it and nothing happens and then suddenly one day you get quick fingers okay so it's a really bizarre one if you keep knocking on the door you'll get it quick fingers doesn't mean you're going to be a great sax player coincidentally as well it just helps sometimes okay so with this tune which is a really nice one for getting your bridge crossing sorted out especially as you're going from C to D and also you're going from B to D so there's another different maneuver and like we did on Ain't No Sunshine we went from C to E as well at one point so we're getting that bridge crossing sorted so two times slow one times quick okay and then when you think you can do it then try and do it along with the sax that I've pre-recorded on this in the, with, the, with this band recording and then when I, you think I don't need to listen to Mark anymore you can do one on your own as well okay and then just mess about with that over the top just play when the sax as fast as your fingers will go Step nine is a summation of what we've done. We've done when the Saints go marching in. Again, we're, we're doing bridge crossings. We're bringing staccato into play as well. And hopefully you're going to start training your ear to listen to a recording. Once you start listening to this recording, your ear is going to open up to listening to music in a much more active and proactive way, um, which is what the blowout sax is all, all about. Anyone who can, who, who can listen, who wants to play music, can play music rather than being um, pushed out um, from doing the notation. So the blowout way is all about anyone playing. And again, be patient, it takes time to get these different steps sorted out. Um, Kate has literally never seen this before, so she's doing this all from scratch. Um, so once you've done a little while with it, your fingers will become closer to the keys, get your technique right, fingers tight to the keys. Um, and then you feel like you're really making progress. You've already learned a couple of uh, songs straight away um, on learning this amazing instrument. So it feels like you're going up a mountain vertically. So um, and that's how we plan to keep it going. So uh, really enjoy playing the saxophone. This is a fantastic instrument, it's an expressive instrument, it's an ex instrument that totally um, reflects your personality. Um, and so yeah, really enjoy it and be patient, step by step by step, be determined as well. You can go an awful long way on being determined. So yeah, really enjoy playing the sax, the blowout sax way.